Welcome back one and all, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Neverwinter Nights 2 uh, where we left off last time we were defending the town against an invasion of dwarves and other nasty creatures and uh, we are trying to get all of the militia members in place to uh, resolve this attack and that is where we're headed right now it appears there's a corpse there or at least some remains I should say not necessarily a corpse there are bladelings of course there's a dying gray dwarf there. Let's go talk to him. Heh. <laughs> killed three of you surfacers before they took me down. And the ones I killed, they screamed one by one. Begged me to spare them. My hands are drenched in their blood. If you have come to kill me now, so be it. But it will not get their lives back. It's one of the attackers. Looks like he's dying. Um, then let's get what we can out of him first. You filthy half-orc, your kind is weak. You cannot stop us. We will pile the bodies of your surface or kin in their homes, set them on fire, a beacon to the rest of the villages of this mirror that we are coming for them. The only body being burned will be yours, and while you still live. You will not live through the night, surfacer. You and your kin will be slaughtered like thralls, and soon you will join me in death. I'm going to cut his throat. The dwarf's last words are cut off as you slash his neck with your weapon. He gurgles for a moment, flails, then dies. I, I don't know you needed to do that, Eltmar. He deserved it, but... If you can't deal with battle, then go hide in your home. Me? I'm gonna go find more to kill. That's the exact response that we would go for. We may be merciless killers, slightly. Uh, we're not going to talk to the militia yet. There is more stuff to loot. There's also an uninjured pig there. He's fine. There's a locked door here. Let's see if we can't uh, take a look inside. Hopefully we'll get something good. We need a key. If I were a key to a house, where would I be? We've been in there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. No, we already talked to Tarmus. There's Georg. And that's our militia crew. Maybe it's in Louis John's dead body, or possibly the wagon. If it's not in either of those places, I'm guessing we don't have the uh, stuff for it. Check the wagon really quickly. No. Nope. Alright. I know there is a key around, I just don't know exactly where it is. Oh, we haven't checked this wagon yet, that's for sure. Or does the pig have the key? Why do I think the pig has the key? We'll quick save. Um. I think there's supposed to be a way to just attack him. Maybe it won't let us just straight up attack him for no reason. I thought for sure there was a key on that pig though. Maybe not. That's his own transition, so it's definitely not there. I guess we can try and break it open. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. I critically missed the door. Oof. No dice. Oh well, not really worth our time. Let's just go. Talk to Georg. Get this fight started. Oh, 
Or maybe we have to talk to him first. Well done. Now we have a chance. All right, militia. Ready your weapons and move out. It's time we stand our ground. That sounds like a terrible plan, but okay. Basically, what we're going to try and do this entire fight with the militia is to uh, get killing blows. So we can get some free experience. Mostly. Damage and stuff does not matter. In this fight, it's all about the killing blows. It's a lot of bladelings. Hit him, come on. I want that killing blow. Whoops, uh, not you. We do want the killing blow on the bladelings especially. The dwarves are good, but they're not as good as others. Let's see what you've got Um, uh, great dwarf. We're doing pretty good. No, get the bladeling. Swing. No, you weren't in range. Another wave is coming. Prepare for battle. We got one bladeling. I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference. This experience is not substantial, but it adds up a little bit. Just little bits at a time. I'm gonna leave bodies. Kill that last one. More of Oops. More of them. We're group. Cyric's blood, they're entering the Starling House. But if we don't hold the next wave off, the whole village could be overrun. Let's go. If we hurry, we can stop them before they find the children. Let's go. Georg and the others can hold off the next wave. I knew I could count on you. I hope my brother and sister know enough to hide. We could use your sword, but I understand. Now we get to go in the little house. Bevel, Eltimar, thank the gods you're here. Mother, what happened? Where are those dwarves that came in here? When I heard the fighting, I tucked the children away and came to see what was the matter, and suddenly these creatures burst into the house. Where are they now? The dogs drove them inside the living room, and they're still trapped inside, but the children... I told the children to lock themselves inside the house, but now those creatures are there, between them and us. Fortunately, those beasts woke up the hounds too, and the hounds tore out the throats of two of them before they barricaded themselves inside the living room. I haven't heard anything from inside, and there's a large group of them. Please help. That door doesn't lock, Altamar, and it looks like the hounds are willing to help us take care of our guests. If we open the door, those dogs would tear them apart. Then let's open the door and set the dogs loose. You're right. Nasher, mutton chop, lock. Come on, boys, follow us. We got some hunting to do. Hey, guys. Seventy-five experience to kill. I want to get these killing blows. They're very important in this particular fight. You know what sucks? Missing abysmally. There we go. Alright, one left. Nice. Good experience there. We're almost up another level. And, uh, let's check the desk. Got some Alexandrite. Uh, so quick save is F12, by the way, so that is pretty damn good. Talk to the kids in a second. We're definitely going to loot this thing first. What? Oh, his DC is higher than our abilities. Uh, Nasher is also the name of the one of the Lords of Waterdeep, which I find hilarious. Or not Waterdeep, uh, Neverwinter. Or he's the, he's the Lord of Neverwinter, I should say. Not one of them, he just is the one. If we take 20, we can technically succeed. So let's quick save and see if we can do it. I don't know if this is worth it. There we go. 
Uh, looks like it's pretty worth it. That's a amethyst and a healing potion, so can't go wrong with that. Yay, Altamara! We heard them screaming for mercy as they died. Is there any blood? Can we see? Sure is. The dogs are probably feeding on the bodies right now. Yay, the hounds will have bones for months. This isn't some kind of game, you all. Be quiet. Oh, shut your mouth, Bevel. We could have screamed ourselves hoarse waiting for you to show up, you dumb ox. <laughs> what? Why, you ungrateful little goblet? We could always say the Durger got them. What? No, mother, no! Be quiet. Joke's over, you all. Ultima's just kidding around, so calm down. No, I'm not. We're sorry, we'll sit here and be quiet, we promise. I'm not joking. I will murder children. I've done it before, in many different games. I murdered a baby in the last game we played. So yeah. That was definitely a thing that happened. Hope I have enough luck picking to get this. Oh good. So there's a magical dagger, a light potion, or a cure light wounds potion, and some gold. And let's go talk to Retta. Thank the gods you and Bevel arrived in time. The gods had nothing to do with it, it was all me. Coming to help loot your house. Also, I couldn't beat down the door or lockpick it. How did the dwarves manage to get through? Good question, Eltamar. But it'll never be answered, so... Oh, there's more things to kill. Uh, not Webb. I don't care about him. But I want, uh... Is there any... Bladelings? Yes, there's one. Move! Bladeling! Come face me! Let me hit him! Just one hit! Yes, nice. Uh, any more bladelings? Yes, there is. Tarmus, you better not kill him. I better start rolling some actual attacks that are good. Holy crap, I suck at attacking. Uh, there's another bladeling. Let's go to the other side and get that one. Oh no, we're not going to get the killing blow. Miss Laszlo, or I might have to kill you. Come on. No, Laszlo. Miss. Yes, got it. Nailed it. Good. Good job, everybody. Thank the gods that's over. We would not have held them much longer. <laughs> and yet there's more. Dagon! Much blood has been lost tonight. Let us make the enemy pay in kind. Should have shown up a while ago. Oh, there's a lot of them on me. I am not a tank. Let's make that really clear. Not yet. Oh, I'm down. I think technically we're dead. But I think we come back to life. I guess we're being bevel for the moment. <laughs> that is the last of them. For now, gather the wounded and the dying. <laughs> you mean our main Let's character? Let's see how many we can steal from death's clutches. Hopefully my main character, because he definitely died. Thank the gods we were able to hold them at the farm. How many did we lose? Most? Ian, Vera, Pearson. What were those things, anyhow? Never seen anything quite like them. They're called bladelings. Their kind is rarely seen in our realm. They dwell in a place beyond. Well then, what in the nine hells are they doing here? Lathander doesn't illuminate all mysteries for me. We must rely on our own wit and resources. One of those dwarves mentioned they were searching for something. Does anybody know what it was? Boy, come over here. <laughs> I see you're unharmed. Many have not been so fortunate, and others have seen their final night. I understand you lost a friend of yours in the attack. A tragedy. She was a promising young mage, or so I've been told. I'll get over it. That you will. I see you understand the folly of dwelling upon loss. I do not have much time to talk. There are many who are wounded. 
Now, there is something you must do tonight. Those bladelings were here to find something, and I fear I know what. We barely trade words, and now you decide to fill me in? Tonight is not a night of words, but of action. There is an item, a silver shard. Long ago, I concealed it in the old stones outside of town. I fear it may have drawn these creatures down upon us. Well, I am... wait, you're the one that hit it. Why don't you just go get it? There are too many wounded to care for. More than Brother Marin can handle on his own. That's not I true. I cannot go, so you must travel there in my place. There is no choice in this matter. We disagree on that, but I'm ready. Tell me what I need to do. The stones outside of town are older and deeper than you may think. In the farthest chamber of these ruins, look for a strong box. Inside is the shard. That sounds simple enough. There remains only one thing. You should not go alone. Bevel, I need you to accompany my son to the ruins. This is an important task. But... Georg says the ruins have been overrun by lizardling tribes. And that is why you must go. Together, two can succeed where one might fail. The cries of the wounded cannot be ignored any longer. Find the shard. Find it and bring it here. Well, if you insist, I will go do that. No offense meant, but your father makes the hairs on my neck stand up. Still, if we're going to do this, we should make some haste. It sounds urgent. Oh... This path that right, runs along the river is our best route into the swamp. I hope these ruins aren't too hard to find. We could be out there all night. That is true. We could be out there all night. Alone in the dark together. You... It's been an age since I've come this far into the swamp. There are some twists and turns before we get to the ruins. There's probably more than lizardlings ahead. So, uh, lead on, I guess. Alone in the swamp with Bevel. Him with his two-handed sword. Me with my long sword. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that, let that. Oh shit! We need to. Oops. Need to uh, rest up. Look at our hit points. We're at one. Let's just casually stroll backwards a couple feet until we can get some prime resting done. Otherwise, we'll be dead again. Also, are we almost up a level? What's up? We are very close to a level. What do you Maybe want? after the Swamp Beetle. Are we wearing any armor? We have an adventurer's outfit, which I think has zero armor class. It's good that we're well armored. Well prepared for our journey into the swamp. Bevel, what are you doing? You could have really stayed on the Swamp Beetle you are fighting, but that's okay. Whatever. We're so close. I just want one more. Actually, I want two more levels, I think. Alright, there's more beetles over there. At least one more beetle over there. Let's go beat it up. There's also a chest of some sort there. Uh, also, there's no penalty for resting a whole bunch in this game, unlike other games where there's time limits on things, so feel free to rest all you want. Do we have a, um, lore? Oh yeah, we definitely have lore. Let's take a look at some of the items we picked up, because we just have boatloads of stuff in our inventory. We have a dagger plus one. We're actually going to use it. Um, we'll have plus one attack bonus, but we'll have less damage slightly, but... All things considered, that's not a big deal. Gloves and concentration are practically worthless, but we'll throw them on anyways, because we don't have anything else to use. Look at that sweet dagger. We will be switching to a better weapon later. Uh, we are probably going to go try to be a rapier weapons master in the end. So we're going to go bard, red dragon, disciple, weapon master. Ideally, that's our goal. There are many enemies coming up ahead, not the least of which is Let's several charge. swamp beetles, as well as some lizardlings. And of course we miss even with our... Did you shoot a magic missile at my face? He did. Also, I should probably steal his armor, to be honest with you. What the hell are you doing, Bevel?
Okay, pause for a sec. Let's just level up quickly. I don't think we get healed on level up in this game. But I also can't remember. We're going to choose strength for our stat up. Yes. And we're going to grab our basic abilities. Uh, we're going to bluff. Lore, of course. We need 8 lore before we can get our Red Dragon Disciple skill. Or uh, Prestige Clash, I should say. We'll get Parry. Uh, it was recommended we get 3 points into Perform just so we can use one of our abilities. Which I think is a good idea. And we'll get Tumble as well. Good enough. And we get some more spells. We'll grab uh, Cure Moderate Wounds. Although, no, we won't because it's kind of pointless for us. We're going to get uh, Mirror Image. Which is a great uh, great uh, spell for not dying. Let's Blade Weave. No. Scare Rage, Owl's Wisdom. Hold Person's pretty damn good. Heroism. Plus two on attack rolls, saves, and skill checks. Eh. Ghostly Visage. Damage Reduction 5 to Magic. And Grants Concealment. Alright, that sounds pretty cool too. We'll grab that. What is, is it Fascinate that gives us the, uh... No, it just Fascinates one creature. Let's just take a look at our... <laughs> our songs here. Perform six? Nope. Perform three? Nope. Inspire competence. Yes. No, it's good. That's skill. Uh, inspire courage. Yeah, there we go. That's plus one bonus to hit and uh, damage. Let's have at it. I should probably level him up. I'm just going to use uh, generic stuff for him because nobody cares about Bevel. Uh, knockdown, sure. That's a decent ability. To your weapons, and don't let up. And now we just have to calmly wait for this fight to end, slowly but surely. <laughs> it's a little bit slow in the beginning of the game, of the game just like Neverwinter Nights One was. What can my attack rolls? Four? Seriously? Good job killing the shaman. Ow. I got AOO'd because I was stupid. Maybe I should have stuck with the longsword. Although the plus one to hit should technically help us out more. Apparently it's not doing such a great job. Let us rest and we'll move on. There we go. So we are quite a ways from leveling up now. What's up? Well now, what do you want? I want his armor. Well now, what do you want? What's up? Well now, what do you want? Well now. Oh, we can't wear it. Want? Do we not have medium armor? Oh no, we don't. We don't have medium armor proficiency, so that's that's not good. I believe so. What do we have? We have a quarter staff, a dagger, a club plus one. Actually, might be better off than our dagger plus one. Bladeling spikes, a bunch of stuff. We also have this harvest cup, which we should throw on our bars. It gives us healing for free twice per rest. That's how to make a cloak of elven kind. We're not going to bother with that for a long time. Mostly because we definitely lack all of that. What's this do? It gives us light. Sometimes. We can't use Arvorines. Arvorines. Sorry, Amulet of Aid. Because we're evil, technically. Evil's really a point of view, though, guys. So don't take that as... Don't, don't take good propaganda telling you that... 
doing things for yourselves is evil. Yay, we hit it for once. We're so close to our Red Dragon Disciple level 2. Basically two more levels and we can finally get our first Red Dragon Disciple level. And we're going to start really pushing our feats towards uh, becoming a Weapon Master as well. It's going to take a little bit, but in the end I think it will be worth it. We're going to go with Rapiers because they have a very high crit range, even though their crit, uh, crit multiplier isn't that high. And I'll explain what those things mean when they actually come into play. They're important, but not immediately. Quick save one more time. There's still three-ish, four-ish more. Alright, let's go. We killed one in a single hit. That was amazing. Holy shit, that crit just killed us in one hit. No, that's cool. Just all of our life in one hit. That's... Awesome. I mean, technically, we should be able to. Oh, there he is. I believe so. He's special. He doesn't die for some reason. Although I think I am on hardcore rules, so he should really die. Where's uh, difficulty? Hmm. Weird. We're supposed to be able to die, but we didn't. And I'm not exactly certain why. I guess it's because our group survived. And this game doesn't have an, a mechanic like endurance, like tyranny does. Or Pillars of Eternity, if you're more familiar with that one. Somebody's watching us going into the temple with a scythe. A hand scythe. And that's actually going to be the end of our video here. We're at about half an hour, so we're going to continue on in our next video. We'll do one more tonight. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.